Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is make my this GeForce GTX hybrid kit, which you should be able to see. Here's the completed. Uh, here's the completed one. That's my Titan X right there with the hybrid kit on it with the uh, base plate and everything. So, what you need to do, I've already made a video on this, but I'm revisiting it because uh, I found a guy that's actually interested in me making him one for his Titan X. He doesn't want to do it himself. So, I'm revisiting a couple things that I probably didn't cover super thoroughly in the other video. So here's the new base plate, unmodified so far. It's got the uh, thermal pads and everything on it already. Um, what I plan to do here, which hold this up a little bit. So on this one, Um, probably hard to see. Let's see if I can... So on this card that's modified, I had to cut out... That was fine. There's a spot right here. This part right here. Or this module or... DRAM or whatever you want to call the guy, I'm not really sure what it is. He is in the way of the base plate making full contact. Um, as you can see on the stock one here, that piece is not cut out, a little L shape there. Got to grind that down or actually cut that out. You have to cut out this spot here room for this new six pin um, another spot you have to modify is on the back side here um, it'll still fit on there regardless if you do this or not but right here this ridge sticks up a little bit so what I did was I just take my grinder grind that all down till it's basically flush with this bottom part here um, once you get that done, it mounts up great where the, uh, the uh, capacitors and other resistors, transistors, everything that's on this part is. taping off some of the work area so I don't get, so I don't have so much cleanup to do later. This makes a hell of a mess.
Okay, so this part is the worst part, the messiest part, the most time consuming part. Not a big fan of it. But it is, uh, it is what you gotta do if you want to make the best fit on your card. So, I didn't do this last time. You obviously don't have to do it. Especially if you got like an air compressor or a can of air, something like that, just to kind of blow off all the uh, the dust, and it makes a lot of makes a lot of dust, a lot of mess. But this, I'm gonna see if I can make it. Since this isn't for my card, this is for someone else's. I'm gonna see if I can make this as nice as possible. Kind of protect the car to make maybe my life a little easier, less mess. So I'm just taping everything up. So if there's any dust or anything that debris or something like that that comes off, it doesn't clog up any of the fan, the fan or the electronics. Granted, this isn't like this is just this is just a mounting bracket essentially. It's not that big a deal, but you know, just try and protect it as much as possible. So, here is what we're going to be grinding down: is this ridge here, from here to this inside part, is what I'm grinding down. Um, the other stuff is pretty straightforward as far as cutting. Uh, I'd actually recommend using. The hacksaw blade instead of a cutoff wheel or anything. The Dremel did not seem to do that very well. So I'm going to be using this is what it looks like after it's been used quite a bit. This is what it looks like brand new. Little uh, grinding sanding discs. Definitely recommend a mask. It gets dusty. So let's begin. Okay, so it's in light in here. Made that cut, got it cut, looks good. Got that side cut for the power pin connectors. That looks good. You can always uh, get some touch of paint to, or some black spray paint, touch it up, make it look a little nicer for you. Uh, let's get this thing, there we go. So that is all grinded down. Hard to tell, but there's a lot of material missing there. And that will make it so it clears those for the resistors and uh, capacitors. And then make sure, make sure you move and have, make sure you remove this thermal tape. You won't need that. Make sure you have your own thermal tape because you'll have to have more anyway to cover up 
extra VRAM module. So I think it's like four, four, four. And then this strip here, you'll have to cut out too. So four, 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 roughly. So uh, I guess that's pretty much it for this. Um, at this point, you pretty much all you have to do now is test fit it on your card, make sure it fits, if it fits. Install the shroud. I don't know why I pointed over there. <laughs> Install the shroud, so, and you're pretty much done. Pump shroud. Base plate. <laughs> Rock out with your new water cooled Titan X with a nice all in one cooler. Uh, thanks for watching my video. If this helped you out, made you want to do it yourself, awesome. But please be careful. Take your time. Do it right. This is not. <laughs> something you want to mess around with if you don't feel comfortable doing it uh you could potentially ruin your card this this part right here or and be out of a cooler at least so uh awesome yeah hit that subscribe button hit that like button thanks for watching bye